All right, this is the market report for the second quarter of uh, 2019 for Southeast Michigan. Uh, and in general, um, the market followed similar to what we saw in the first quarter of this year. A little bit schizophrenic in that the market was sort of up and down. One month sales were up, the next month they were down. Uh, some of that had to do with changes in, um, in the interest rates, a little bit of economic uncertainty, uh, more in the upper end a little bit than in other markets. But, but in general, it was a strong, uh, strong quarter. Um, in general, the terms, of the conditions of the market were the inventory was rising. So hit sales, sales are up as well. Inventory rising a little faster, at least in the last, uh, um, last 90 days rising a little faster than sales. So what's happened is that um, across all price points, the, the appreciation rates have slowed a little bit. Still rising. Um, the higher you get average sale price, the slower the appreciation rates because more supply, a little less demand. Um, so markets are pretty good. But we're finding from buyer's side of things with rates lower, Last compared to last year, with in, with the inventory up, this really is a great time if you're considering buying at all price points uh, to be looking at the market because this is that perfect time where rates are low, inventory is up, you've got more to choose from at a better interest rate. So uh, it's time to get in the market. Uh, in that regard, on the seller side of things, what we're finding is that um, that there still are over there still is overbidding. Uh, so on the buy side, switch that side for a moment, on the buy side, if you are faced with overbids, you're not finding that the overbids are crazy prices. It's for the most part, again, check with your realtor and the guides of the process. For the most part, we're not seeing the overbids being crazy in price. Switch to the seller side, the finding is most of those overbids are homes that have been updated recently, kitchens, bathrooms, etc. cetera. Um, so what we're finding is that the market is um, is accepting. We're not seeing appraisal issues. They're accepting the higher prices per square foot we're getting for updated homes. And the market is to some degree actually punishing homes that haven't been updated. So when you're talking, looking at your home and it's, it may be in wonderful condition, but if it has been updated, we're finding that the market is the buyers, the market just buyers, are looking at that and, um, and knocking prices down quite a bit for that. So what that says is that on occasion there's, there are certainly instances where the it makes sense for a seller to actually update their kitchens their bathrooms spend the money on that because typically the return on that investment is 60 70 cents on the dollar but in today's market because of what we're seeing on how buyers are approaching that you might get 100 120 cents on the dollar so it may actually make sense to do some upgrades before you put your home on the market it's important to talk to your realtor about that because markets are different and moving in different directions. But in general, we're seeing a good uh, momentum going into the summer months and into the fall. Uh, inventories are rising a little bit, so uh, we're not sure whether that will cause a release of demand or not. So a little bit of uncertainty as to how fast the markets will be going in the fall. But in general, we can anticipate a strong year consistent with the first uh, six months of the year. So I uh, look forward to some uh, good activity. Thanks.